Today I'm going to be hanging out with Chuku the painter right here in his home and as you can see behind me he has some of his amazing works. We're going to be sitting down with the painter and discovering where it all started and also what his journey has been like. My name is Melissa Awad, this is Arts and Soul, let's go. super excited because I'm sitting down with Chuku the painter. I'm excited because I've seen some of his projects. You guys have probably seen some of his works and I'm telling you, I'm super impressed. Welcome. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. How are you doing? I'm blessed and highly favored. Amen. How about you? Oh, I'm great. I'm doing great. I um, see. Oh, thank you. But you literally just came back to Ghana not too long ago from yeah. a trip to New York. <laughs> Yeah, to New York. Tell me about it. How was that experience? Because it was your first time. Yeah, my first time. All right. So, um, for me, I, f I feel very blessed because um, it's my hard work that took me there. So, um, to me, I was overwhelmed. Like, I was filled with so much excitement when I was taking off from Ghana, sitting in the plane, and my final destination was New York. Now, this is exciting because you're still on the journey. Yeah. Um, so, you we just talked about the New York experience. I'm, I'm excited to be because, I mean, New York is just such an, a hub for art. Because yeah. honestly, if, if it wasn't God, my manager, my mother, and how I feel I have so much work to do here in Ghana, I wouldn't have come back. Really? Because I did, I just, I did um, about some few gigs for free, like in some bars and um, some dance classes. And then the reception and how people wanted my work was amazing like i feel this is where people are willing to patronize me what 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 was that moment when you were like wow this is intriguing i'm like falling in love with this okay so growing up as a very young 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 boy i had so many challenges so many challenges you could think of from the family side me myself i was academically poor i i i, I, I wasn't that academia type but I was, I had super energy in extra curriculum activities. I went to um, Alpha Beta Education Center down so much. And you, my mom too was a teacher, in, is, is a teacher in, in that school. So the embarrassment she usually faces when she comes for open day and her son is like last or bottom last in the class. Well, she's a teacher. Yeah, and she's a teacher. So it was very embarrassing. So I, I just kept telling myself that um, cause I have super energy in extracurricular activities. Let me continue doing it. From JHST, things started changing for me. I decided to psych my mind to just finish the like finish the BEC, yeah. finish the JHS process. And then my dad had stroke. Wow. Yeah, so when I was going to write the BEC. So then that really hits me hard and I'm the first born. So then I realized that no, this is the point where I need to act like a man mm. and a father to my brothers and a husband to my mother. I love it and I, I love your confidence and I love the fact that you knew that you had challenges in, in, in some areas yeah. but you also knew that with some dedication yes. you could excel and just because you have challenges in one area doesn't mean that it's a fail. There's so much more to explore. Yeah, there's one word, like there's a, there's a phrase that's and I always say, your attitude today determines your attitude tomorrow. So then, I was, I was looking at my attitude that I used to have, and the attitude I, I, I have always wished for. If I have a bad attitude, I'm going to have a, ba a bad attitude. So if I have a good attitude, a good attitude, I'm going to have a, a good attitude. So then, things changed. And then, I said to myself, every opportunity that I get, I utilize it like it's like it's like it's my last chance on earth. So you give your all. So I I give him my all, and everybody can testify to it. Anytime I am doing something, I give him my all. 
I go so hard on it, so emotional. I give it everything because I want to come out with the best. I've taken so many risks, so many, so many things just because I want to be an artist. People have turned me down. Organizations have said no to me. People have said no, your style of art cannot fit into my program. And it, I just kept on doing my, and then a few people were supporting, others were turning me down, but I still never gave up. And today, Look today, even my mates from, <laughs> from, from junior high school are like, hey, Chuku, you bust my brain, you bust my brain. And even my mates tell me, hey, Chuku, I like your confidence. We are, all, we are all good in the arts, even in the university, we are all good with the arts, but then they come to me and like, hey, Chuku, the way you carry yourself, the way you put out your art, it's like an inspiration to me. And I tell you, I tell them that, bro, I'm doing my best. Just put in your best. And I tell you, I mean, I'm not rich anywhere. I'm still, I see I have a better future. So let's just do this together and make it happen. That's, Absolutely. That's I, yeah. Wow. Well, your story is very inspiring. I didn't know. It really is, and I hope it's inspiring you guys at home. We're not going to cut the conversation off right here, no, but we're going to go for a quick break. We're going to have a little bit more of a chit chat with Chuku and then also look at some of his projects. I'm really excited to check those projects out with you guys. Don't go anywhere. This is Art and Soul. We'll be right back. So, Art and Soul. Vibes on, vibes on, vibes on, vibes on, vibes on, vibes on, vibes on. Welcome back. So what you just saw there was one of Chuku's projects, and we're going to give you some more of his projects because they're actually really exciting. We're going to talk about them um, during the course of the show, but. You have something for me yeah. to do. You can't make this hard on me. <laughs> so should we start? Yeah. Okay. So um, this 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 is an artist pen. Mm -hmm. I'll give you one. I also take one. You're a teacher too. Oh well, I did try. Wow. Yeah, I did try. An artist pen. Yeah. So I'll give you this Special. one. Special. Uh, Fine liner. This is what they put on makeup. No, no, no. <laughs> and this, this is our sketch part. Ah, so. That's a nice sketch pad. Thank you very much. I have to. Smart. Yeah, yes. Alright. So, so I see you folding paper. Yeah, we are folding paper. You're making an aeroplane? No, no, no. This, this oh, one I can't even do that, which is, which is needed. So this this in the course of our production, this gospel, I will still add it to it. You have to be resourceful. So, no still, materials wasted. So you cut the I folded it into four. Mm -hmm. So then you cut it into four. So let me do that. So I'm gonna be doing all this. Let me do that first. Let me start. I'm nervous. So I'm still cutting it. So cut. Cut it straight yeah, half. Yeah, continue from there. Okay. Cut your yes. cut. And um, cut this. Cut thing. again. I like this. Oh, I miss doing arts and crafts. Yes, um, cut this. Yes. Yeah, let's cut it. Okay. So you, sh you shuffle there. Wow. Um, We're shuffling. Why are we shuffling? Oh, we just want to so get people's them. attention. Yeah, so should we cut like this or like this? Choose. Should we cut like this or diagonal? I don't want to mess it up. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's do diagonal. Let's do diagonal. Okay, so cut. No, no. I don't want to. 
Okay, let's, let's put this one. Okay. Like and then go straight across. Yes. Precision is key. Like this? Yeah. Straight across, right? Yeah, straight okay. across. Yes. Okay. So, so we're done we cutting. Going to, yeah, we are done cutting. So we have different pieces. We are going to paint on each of them. And then at the end, we will join it together. And then whatever it is, it would. Yeah, it could be a face, it could be a face, it could be... And you're going to direct me what to draw? Yeah, right? I'll direct you, I'll direct you. Let's see. So your pen, where is this? Okay. Oh, this is yours. No, yeah, this is yours. This is mine. Alright. So take this. Mm -hmm. And I'm coming. This is actually exciting because I don't know what we're going to do. Okay, so you hmm. why is the tip of your pen different to mine? Oh, they're all different. Oh, they're all different. Okay. Yeah, they're all different. Yeah. So you filling this portion? Just filling this portion. Just shade it in? Yeah, shade it in. Oh. Yes, and I'll continue with my. I don't know how am I supposed to shade it? Like yeah, this? Yeah. I'm nervous because you're, you know, you're a professional. I don't oh, want to disappoint I'm you. I'm also nervous. Yeah. <laughs> Why? So, yeah. I'm like all the, nervous. I'm like the worst. Draw a painter. Okay, I'm not bad at painting by numbers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but like real stuff. Hmm. But you see, the thing is, I don't think you have to be good at art to appreciate art. So I'm, I think I'm okay when it comes to that. Oh, okay. So but how long have you uh, not been able to draw my yeah. whole life? The whole, oh, I see. <laughs> but then, um, how have you have you liked art or loved art since childhood? Or? Yes, I have because you know I have a bit of a similar story as far as um, being drawn towards the arts. But I was good academically, but not in the maths and the science, oh, okay. which really made me feel a little bad about myself. But then I realized I was good at drama. I was good at theater, oh, okay. um, music. I had I have an ear for music. Okay. Um, and things of that nature, and I learnt a few instruments as a kid. Um, but um, my mom supported me. She said, "You know what? Just find out what you're good at and, and, and do well in it." So I had that support. I see. Um, but yes, I've always loved art. I appreciate it so much. Especially, I appreciate things that I am not good at actually. Oh, okay, that's, um, that's very good. I feel, for that. Amen. Thank you. Yeah, I yeah. feel art tells a story. And I feel it's also open left for interpretation. The yeah. artist can put their story to it, but the audience may have their own. Yeah. So I even have I even have a style of art continue today. Oh, I should. Yeah. I even have a style of art that has gotten to do with not only me, like in terms of production, but then involving the audience. Yeah. So um, when I was when I was in school, cause we were, the topic was um, the topic I chose was why visual art students don't like mathematics and it's mm. practically very true <laughs> so then um, I came up with um, an idea that mm -hmm. everybody was expecting me to paint during the exhibition because we were inviting um, senior high school students to come and witness senior high school students from Takari to come and witness what what we are, we are done here mm. okay let me give you another Church, one. is this okay yeah this is this is okay this part is really I'm gonna feel in there. Yeah, so um, we had senior high school students who study uh, visual art and then they came to pay a visit to our school. So we did an exhibition. So everybody was expecting Chiku to come and do his normal upside down painting. And then I came up with this idea where, okay, now I don't do the painting alone, but then I do it 
just to involve the audience and also push the message properly. Mm -hmm. So then we had um, I had models mm -hmm. that were dressed like students and sitting within a space. So people didn't know they were part? Yeah, people didn't know they wow. were part. But then they were painted in one particular color. Oh. Okay. Yes, and then anybody that comes within the space comes and does a mathematical equation on like on the surface. Showing a picture of it much more better. At times when, when you're explaining an artwork to somebody, maybe they won't get it. Yeah, they won't get it until they actually see or have a feel of mm -hmm. yeah, what you're talking about. But then I have so many, I call it interactive art, mm -hmm. where like I get to interact with the audience. Yeah, the audience. I feel like that's the best. Yeah. Um, speaking of interacting with the audience, or um, making the audience understand something very important. Before I continue, I want to just, I want everyone to see um, a, a clip of a project you did that's okay. very, very, very important because okay. it was very recent. Um, there's xenophobia attacks in South Africa. Mm -hmm. um, and so you guys take a look at this and when we come back, we're going to talk about it a little bit. And um, please be mindful, viewer discretion is advised. Take a look. So, art and soul. This country belongs to Africans in the same way Nigeria belongs to South Africans. Nigeria is South Africa, South Africa is Nigeria. For only unity will make the artificial boundaries and regional demarcations imposed by colonialism. Love each other everywhere else where you find one another. Protect each other Africans because we are in the receiving end of capitalism. Talk to me about the xenophobia project. Okay, so with the xenophobia project, when I heard about the news, I was I was I was sad. Mm -hmm. And anybody who sees it is obviously going to be sad. Right. And South Africa is a place that a lot of people would love to go and take a vacation to. Right. So when I saw it, I, I saw some artists do works about it. People were asking me, Ichuku, aren't you gonna do anything to talk about the xenophobia? I was like, Oh yeah, I have something to do, but then I don't want to rush it. I mm -hmm. want to do something that will actually talk or touch the story so there's this artist who is right now he's he's trending a lot mm -hmm. so he he does um, performance painting or he draws people with items mm -hmm. and then at the end he turns it upside down he's from Senegal mm -hmm. so I saw his own and I was I was impressed I was I was impressed but then he used um, a cutlass and then there was a red um, paint on it and then he wiped it off and then he used it to do a painting of Nelson Mandela. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. yes so I'm familiar with that. I, I saw it and I was, I was like, oh wow, thank God. Another an artist is also talking about the message. Mm -hmm. But then I wanted to be more practical in motion. I wanted to go more deeper and tell the story. Mm -hmm. So then I was like, how about me doing this with maybe an NG mm -hmm. or make it look like as if I'm hurt or so I, I called some friends who a lady friend of mine who does makeup and then she was like oh this is a nice idea and she, and she came i called a friend to use a videographer mm -hmm. i was like oh Chiku, that's also a nice idea so let's do it and then we just brought our heads together and then i you know i told her i want a chopped leg off i want um, i want my eyes blocked off mm. yeah, with blood oozing all over yeah that, that kind of a thing and then we just made it happen that that was the end product. And this was filmed in Ghana. Yeah, this was filmed in Ghana. Wow. We just took um, shots from 
South Africa. The parts that someone was showing is thrown, yeah, those parts were from South Africa. And the drone shots too was from South Africa. But from the parts where there was smoke from behind mm -hmm. the, the abandoned church, all that part was created by us. Wow, very, very, very um, intense. And I'm, I'm quite squirm squirmish with these things, but you really told a very um, important story. And I mean, these are things that are going down in our history books, even mm -hmm. though it's happening, you know, um, today. I recently just watched um, a video from Sidney Talker, and then I don't. I'm also a fan of him, so I, I really follow his work. And then someone was scrolling on Instagram, and then saw a lady with breast, nice, and then the person liked it. I just watched Scroo that one. Yes, and, and then, then he, they took him to the jail cell. Yeah, I, I just uh, watched the that party video. was in suit. He mm -hmm. jumped, and then now he got him into the cell, was beating him, and why didn't you like my picture? Uh -huh. That was just to push the story about. People are out there producing good content. You're not showing sure up. But the unnecessary thing is that is what you show love. Not I don't want to mention them, but you and I know that there are some people here in Ghana who are doing some things that the, the overhype they are giving them is necessary in a way, but it's, it's too much. It should be shifted to other To other well. important things that could help the economy. Because honestly, even the art I do, I don't look at myself or my pockets or how much I gain. It goes to an extent of giving back to the society. Because um, last year, I visited a, um, a school in Takadu, a government school in Takadu. And then what I did was I provided stationaries and all of that for them as, um, like for them to use for, like teaching and learning. And then we, we bought food, we ate with them. I did art with them, like they did some coloring. And it was, it was nice and I feel, through my art, I'm not just thinking about I paint somebody so and I get pocket, money, but yeah. then I, I also impact. Yes, I also impact the, the society. So Fantastic. small, small. I feel I don't, everything under the sun is has its own time. That's so true. At least that's just after three years one. So I believe the time will go happen. That's true. Absolutely. Let's make this happen because I'm curious. Because all I know is an eyebrow. Okay, so <laughs> we're still not done. So we're just oh. gonna arrange. Mm. Oh, we're arranging, okay. Yeah, arrange Arrangement time. It's like puzzles to the pieces to the puzzle. Even I myself, I'm nervous, but something can happen. If if, if it doesn't work, it's because me and my shading. Mm, okay, don't worry. You'll find a way. Okay, let me finish this part. So try and arrange it yourself. I'm, I'm actually just in shock. I will, we will, we will join it with the subject. Yes, I just want us to get the proportions right. So, relax, don't, don't. Don't put it together. Oh! Yes. Shall I like close my eyes? That's the part that got spoiled. But it's useful. I salute everything. Did you say you weren't good at math? Or was what? that me? Were you good at math? Me. Yeah. Mm, very Isn't cool. everything you're doing geometry, symmetry, and all of that? <laughs> I'm so excited. This is the most annoying part about celebrity. Should we use the scissors to scrape? Try to find. This is very, yeah. You found it? Or you're just making your own layer? I found <laughs> it. There you go. There you go. Alright, moment of truth, y'all. Oh. <laughs> Shadow, yeah. uh, you need me Current, to yes. arrange well, well. The worst thing is when the tape gets balled up, yeah. you have to start again. Okay. There's one. There we go. 
do this next piece. Oh, I have to make it smooth. But do you have an idea what it is? I do, but you said I can't say anything. Oh, okay. But I figured from my excitement, everybody at home will know. Who sent you my picture? <laughs> I'm Instagram. 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 <laughs> wow, you yeah. are talented. That is a gift, honestly. Yeah. That is a huge gift. So where can the rest of the world see your gift? We're talking about social media. Um, so when you, when you check on Facebook, when you type Isaac Chuku Ude, you will see my, my handle. When you get to Instagram, Chuku the Painter, mm -hmm. C H U K W U, mm -hmm. then the Painter, that's my brand name. And then on Twitter, to the same thing, C H U K W U, the Painter, take off the E R and put A. a. Yeah, so because Instagram, they didn't, a, Twitter they didn't allow me to put O, oh. so I had to. Uh, so it's Chuku the Painter, painter. With, with an A. That's, that's, but that's yes. Ghana style. And then my telephone number is 057 871 6078. 057 871 6078. Seven, eight. You know, every talent has to be groomed. Mm -hmm. So don't feel bad if I tell you, oh, please, you have to speak to my manager. It is a norm. It is advisable. So please, don't. People out there shouldn't think yeah. it's rash. But because we need someone to guide us, so mm -hmm. I have a manager. So when you call, then I'll give you my manager's number, all the details, email, mm -hmm. and then you forward everything, and you have me to do any service you want me to do for you. Thank you to Chuku the Painter. You guys can check out all his work on his social media handles. We have it for you right here. I've been inspired. It's been really enjoyable. Thank you for allowing us into your homes. Into your home, actually. Um, it's been very special. Thank you. Art and Soul is a space for artists and creatives to tell their story and for us to enjoy their journey. For more information, you can at Minimal For Real on Twitter and just Kwamina on Twitter. And of course, at City TVGH all across our social media platforms. This is Art and Soul, let's go. Art and Soul, Art and Soul, Art and Soul.